Well, I'm proud of our kids' fight in the game tonight. I thought that we executed well offensively, probably our best game yet. And we also played well defensively. We just had a tough time keeping JMU off the boards. I mean, they offensive re rebounded incredibly. And any time you give up 20 offensive rebounds, it's really going to be tough to combat that. I mean, we did a good job of taking care of the ball and continue to make youthful mistakes. But um, I just kind of see a difference in just our effort and just being able to push through you know, a tough game to lose, especially when you think that it's a winnable one. But we're just going to keep working and keep plugging away at it and continue to get better. All right, Kristen, go ahead. And hey, Tina, you know, the past couple games, y'all have kind of come back and fought back from a, from a big deficit. What do you like about just the team's fight right now? I mean, I love that about us. Um, we just need to start the game in that way. You know, we're not starting the game the way that we should. So that um, the effort and intensity that we have when we're climbing out of a hole, it's something that we need to have consistently through the game. Again, we can blame it on our youth, but, you know, my thought process is, is that, you know, if you're, you're capable, then you do. You know, when you know better, you kind of do better. So we have proven that it's something that we absolutely can do. We just have to figure out how to do that consistently. What's the, what's the thing separating, you know, from making some of those comeback wins and kind of finishing it out? Is it starting the game better, like you said? Part of, well, I, in our first game against UCF, we started well. Uh, and then we got comfortable and we stopped playing defense and that's who we are you know we're a defensive minded team and even though we're playing defense to create opportunities on offense it's something that you know we talked about from day one that it's the part of the identity of who we are so when we make mistakes defensively then you know it's hard on us because we have an expectation of ourselves offensively and rebounding is a part of that um we do make mistakes and we, we are forgetting. And uh, a lot of that happen, happens to um, be in part to our, our just immaturity, you know, in our youth. We're playing a lot of just young people in general. Even our, I guess, veteran players, if we can call them that, are young people, you know, and we're putting a lot of responsibility on them. Well, young and just on court experience. But their fight is there, so we're going to use that as fuel to continue to get better. You mentioned those veterans, Amadine and, and Carol, continue to lead y'all offensively. What do you think of their performances tonight? Well, I, I guess I've kind of likened um, uh, Dean and, and uh, Carol to my new um, Dominique and Jocelyn. You know, they're playing heavy minutes and they're kind of putting it all out there. They're learning how to be, you know, leaders like at this level, you know, they're communicating in a different way and they're just taking the weight of, you know, what we do offensively, but also just kind of leading the charge defensively. They're always slated to guard the best offensive players um, of our opponents. And we're then asking them to come back and get stops and then score on offense. So it is for sure appreciated, but it's also an expectation because they are, they're capable. So even though they're young and experienced, the, um, the things that we're asking them to do is not something that they aren't capable of doing. And I just remind them of that daily. Great, thanks coach. Thank you. Yeah, hey Carol, coach is kind of talking about in the past couple of games, y'all have kind of fought back from big deficits to, to make it a close game. What do you think is separating y'all from Kind of completing those comebacks and getting a win. I feel like we just need to start putting everything together. Like we'll talk about something that we need to start doing better on in practice, but then we'll get to the game and maybe like slack off in something else. So I feel like once we put all the pieces together and do them consistently, we'll stop having these offensive humps or defensive lulls and stop having to fight from behind so much. Harold, um Coach is talking about how you and Dean are kind of the new, her new Jocelyn and Dominique this year. What have you, how have you kind of adjusted to that you know, increased role on offense and defense, honestly? Um, just changing my mindset a lot, getting back into being really aggressive again, kind of just taking me back to high school, reminding myself of what I used to do and what I still can do. 
Um, and just on the defensive end, like last year, I knew I could play defense. I was often on an older player on the team. So just keeping the same intensity on defense and not um, letting my mind just focus on offense all the time. Um, I would say consistency. Um, I think we're playing well at times, and we have those downs that costing a lot to us. And at the end, we have to make those runs back to be back in the game. I think just um, put herself in the game the entire game, and be the team that actually up, and they have to come back from us. So I think, yeah. And then also, you know, Melissa just mentioned you know career high 17 points for you. Um, what do you think, and how are you adjusting to this you know expanded role offense? Um, I think confidence. Um, I think people trust me in practice and on the court. I think definitely more confidence. Also, um, I think now that I'm trusting my knees and that I'm more comfortable in um, being at Virginia and playing this type of defense, playing America and just um, college basketball in general. So, yeah.